15 minutes into this heap, and then it's completely clear that the team that actually made the original Sonic games had nothing to do with this. Don't waste your time or money on this garbage. How about this? How about we not waste our time on this garbage review? It makes no sense. You telling me that the team that Sega, Sega hired a, a, a team of, of guys who make fan games, passionate fan games for, you know, for Sonic, they hired them to make basically a successor to the original Genesis titles, a literally successful, passionate project successor to the genesis titles and it has nothing to do with the original sonic games well with sonic you either like it or hate it back in the day there was mario or sonic as your 16-bit platforms games you mean every time i play sonic i feel so frustrated by the cluster f of the maps it feels that you shouldn't what in the world it feels that you shouldn't care on the environment of level and you just need to rush to the end. Did you rush this review? Did you really rush this? Because I can't understand anything you're saying. That is such a shame with nice environments that tempt you to explore. The game punishes you for doing it. You lose momentum and you are stuck. There is no manual or indication on what does any buttons do. And you just find bashing your controller expecting to move forward somehow. I don't understand Sonic Love, but for me... This looks exactly as the first Sonic game, equally frustrating, avoid. Now guys, this is a prime example of a bad review. I mean awful. So let's break it down real quick. Down under, you don't, you have, you clearly have never played a Sonic game before. You don't know what you're talking about. Sonic Mania is this guy's first Sonic game. We established that. So he's talking about how, you know, how it sucks and you can't really move and you can't explore. Dude, this is how this is how Sonic games are designed. So you give the first Sonic game you play a zero and shut down the entire series because you won't take the time to understand the game. This is terrible. My first Sonic game. I mean, that's like you say, that's like you saying, um, you're playing Mario. You play Mario. Where's the guns? How come I can't 360 no scope? Well, because it's a Mario game. Mario don't have guns. This guy playing a Sonic game, expecting it to be a Mario game. This guy is literally trash. Let's move on. All right, user Saggy Sheep 998 gave Sonic Mania a one, and Saggy Sheep, with his dumb name, said, "Hate the color blue, bro. That's personal, man. Actually, I like the color blue. All right, the color blue is my second favorite color, after black because I'm edgy, and hedgehogs are for chumps." One point for creativity for the spicy hentai on DeviantArt. <laughs> I gotta give him credit for that. Spicy hentai. Listen, don't go and type in Sonic hentai, all right? Don't type in Amy either. No worries, though. The superior platformer will be released ever so soon and will dethrone the likes of a dead and buried series that no one but those who are in denial enjoy. Guys, you hear that? Sonic fans all over the world. He just said... We are in denial for liking Sonic games. Mario is back, baby, and so am I. Well, listen, Saggy Sheep, wherever you came from, please go back there and stay there. We welcome Mario back, but you, you don't need to come back. Wherever you come from, you should stay there. Please, do us all a favor. We appreciate it. All right, guys, our next review is from Evans, and he rated Sonic Mania a 1. Which is one, which is one better than zero. So I gotta give him credit for that. And Evan said, and repeated broken frequency. I'm gonna say it like Omega. Omega was what's Shadow's partner? Uh, it's Rude, Shadow, and Omega. All right. <laughs> de nuvo, 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 de nuvo. Useless consumer models. De nuvo, 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 de nuvo. That's all he says. De nuvo, which means he really hates that anti-piracy thing about Sonic Mania. Now, have you guys seen our last video where I kept saying D M R M wrong and everybody was calling me dyslexic? But really, it's because I was tired and I think I still said it wrong. But whatever. So clearly, this anti-piracy de nuvo thing is a huge problem. If you guys saw in our last video, like I, I, most of the reviews were really angry about that. 
So I don't know what else to say. It's a, it's clearly a problem, and I agree with Evans. I mean, you know, this is this is an issue that the Sega has to fix, and hopefully they'll fix it. Let's move on to our last review. All right, our last review is from Taken Neener. Taken Neener. I don't know what he's doing with his name. Is he trying to be Taken Taken Neener? I don't know. But he gave Sonic Mania too, and Taken Neener said. Many blind Sonic fans wearing fanboy glasses haven't seen the atrocious level design that plagued the original. Okay, Genesis games. Unfortunately, in an effort to recreate those games, the same bad level design is in this game. Levels like Stardust Speedway don't show you what you have to do to progress, and you end up losing a life from taking too long. Speaking of taking too long, it's actually possible to die in a boss fight by not beating them fast enough. Like seriously, how can you take them out in 8 hits? Add that to the control of the game is not the best, especially in Chemical Plant Zone's water. Finally, I'll say, buy this game at your own risk. It may look appealing, especially Press Garden. However, they messed up the most important parts to any game. Seriously, this game sucks a lot. Now, take a Nina, you must be also a new Sonic fan, because it sounds like you have no idea what to talk about, but I do, I do respect his opinion, because he has got one thing right. Guys, I saw a video on YouTube, I don't know which YouTuber made it, I'm not sure, but it said, has Sonic games ever been good? And they go, in, they go to explain that Sonic games have never actually been good, we just blinded by nostalgia, because the level design is bad. Now, I don't think that's true. I actually like Sonic games. I think their level design is fine. The only Sonic game that I love, but the level design is really, really bad, is Sonic CD. When you try to run, there's so many obstacles. You really can't get any speed going. And that was the biggest issue about Sonic CD that I had. But overall, I think Sonic games have decent level design. I mean, they're okay. I mean, let's, let's put it like this. Mario 64 is a beloved classic. But Mario 64 had a terrible camera. I mean, one of the worst cameras in a video game ever. Yet yeah, we still love it. You know, so let's not fault Sonic for having bad level design in 1990, okay? <laughs> let's just leave it alone. Anyway, guys, that's Sonic Mania. Five more bad reviews. As you can see, people are destroying Sonic Mania, but these people aren't really... They don't really have any credit. I mean, when you're when you're when you're not even a real Sonic fan, you play one or two games, don't know what you're talking about. You're not really doing anything to hurt the game. Hopefully, we'll find some reviewers or people who actually enjoy Sonic and have some really really um, legit points about why they dislike the game. Hopefully, we'll see that in our next video about Sonic Mania. But anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed this video. Spin dash that like button if you did, and subscribe to the channel for more Sonic, bad reviews, lost content, other cool videos I have planned. Also, guys, keep requesting those games. Of course, I say this every video, but the more you request on recent videos, the easier it is for me to see it. Because sometimes it does get buried in the comment section behind all the memes and edge. <laughs> but it's all cool. It's all good. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for support as usual. And I will see you all in the next video.